Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Panahachel, Lake Atitlan, Guatemala. I've been on the lake a couple of days now, dicking about on the water, swimming, kayaking, hiking, and today I'm going to bring you along with me. I'm here in my hotel room. Um, well, I say hotel, it's actually an apartment. Um, I'm just going to show you a quick look around and show you what £40 a night buys you. So, it's pretty big. Here we have the kitchen. Um, and all this stuff that I'm never going to use because eating out here is probably cheaper than actually buying all your stuff anyway and cooking it yourself. Here's the bathroom. It's probably actually bigger than uh, most hotel rooms that I've uh, stayed in. And back through here is the bedroom. Excuse the mess. So yeah, pretty big. And a massive wardrobe here. That could probably fit all my clothes that I've got at home in that one, let alone the clothes I brought on holiday. And that's it. Let's go, shall we? Hola, buenos días. So it's 20 past seven now. And uh, what we're going to do is head down through Panahachel, down to the quay or dock, and uh, go and get a boat either to Santa Cruz or to San Marcos. And we're going to do a hike from there. So it's rainy season here in Guatemala, which means at this time in the morning, 20 past seven, it's beautiful sunshine and it stays like this till about three o'clock and then the rain starts and the rain doesn't mess about it, it's like downpours. And here's where we start to barter with the boat mafia. <laughs> Hola, una lancha, amigo. Hola. Uh, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Sí, ¿cuánto sería? Eh, uh, el barco público sale a las ocho y media. ¿A qué hora? Ocho y media. A las ocho y media. Okay. Sí. ¿Y cuánto es? Eh, hay dos opciones: está la directa y está la que va transbordando. Da igual. Es que lo que pasa es que la diferencia es que va transbordando se tarda más tiempo y la directa la que te lleva de una vez. Claro. ¿Y cu cuánto es? Eh, la pública te vale 30 que sale, la que va desgraciado. 30, ah, me han dicho 20. Ahorita cambió bastante el precio. Cuando compras un boleto de ida y vuelta, te cobran 50 que sale, 25 para ir y 25 para regresar. Uh -huh. Cuando es solo ida, es 30 que Esto es eh, público, público. 20, 30, sí, ok. Si quieres un privado, te salen 125. Uh -huh. In the private, you cost 125. You live in now, making more people. No, it's demasiado for me. Okay, okay puede pensarlo. Okay. I give you 100 kids. No, no. This is cheap in the price. You live in now. No, no, it's demasiado. No, no, it's okay. No, no. No, no, está bien. Wow, the cheek of that. 100, 100, 100. No, no, I'll give it to you for 50. Nah, no, you're right, mate. My trust in you is gone. Look at this view. Amazing. Es 30 para público. Público. Public. Sí, es para okay. público. Yo voy para allá. Sí, está bien. Sí. En 10 minutos estamos allá. Muy bien. Sí. Tú puedes tomar de regreso a cualquier, otro, a cualquier horario. A cada 15 minutos regresan. Ah, ok. Es que no sé si voy a regresar de Santa Cruz o San Marcos. Ah. Voy a hacer una caminata. Ah, ¿quieres hacer caminata de Santa Cruz para San Marcos? Sí, exacto. Sí, es bonito. Sí, me parece. Sí. De San Marcos igual, cada 15 minutos para volver. Ah, perfecto. Sí. Se hace eso muy Lead 
guy saw me with my Guatemala football shirt and thought, ah, here we go, he's a tourist, he's a mug. Let's see if we can get 100 out of him. <laughs> Oh hi. hi, you made it here. You made it here, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. <laughs> that lady was on my bus on the way over from Antigua. Uh, she didn't understand Spanish and was getting a bit flustered about all the different boats and everything to catch. So I'm just heading up the hill into the village of Santa Cruz, have a little look around and back down onto the coast uh, and then we start our hike there towards San Marcos. Seems like the town's main square doubles up as a school. <laughs> it's fun. I'm gonna go and join in. Santa Cruz, very much still a Guatemalan village, not taken over by the tourists yet. I'm now heading down this alleyway, which should take me back down to the coastline where we start the hike. Hola.
obviously may have stumbled across a small obstacle. Now I don't know why that's like that, if it's deliberately blocking us off for a particular reason or if there's been a landslide or what, but I guess the only way we can find out is by climbing over it because I'm not double backing. Yeah, it was fine. It's just a small landslide, that's all. I can hear the sound of running water. Let's see what's around here. Just a beautiful freshwater waterfall. Nice cold water. Oh, that's lovely. Okay guys, that's the end of the cliffside part of the walk. Now we're on the road, as you can see. It's a very quiet road at the moment. I think it gets a bit busier as we get closer to San Marcos. And then we have the option, we can either flag down a tuk-tuk or walk. And it's still early. It's a very easy walk, to be honest with you. It's quarter past 10 now. So I'm not in any rush to get to San Marcos. Still very early. So we're gonna walk along the road. By far the best view on the lake. Well, it's closed, so we're never going to know. Pretty nice from here, though. It's San Marcos. Hola. Se puede pasar? Sí, claro. Sí. Solo que despacio. Okay, yes, yes. Lucky? Okay. You are a fry. Okay. Gracias. Hola. Hola. Damn it, now my socks are wet. Voy caminando. Okay, yeah. Strange place to have a football goal. And you scored one goal in there, and that's it. You lose your ball. One nil. Final score, game over. Congratulations, you win. Let's buy another ball so we can play another game. San Marcos is the hippie area of the lake. All sort of yoga pants and uh, beading necklace sort of attire. I'm going to look a little bit ridiculous in my football shirt, swim shorts and hiking boots ensemble. Hola, buenas. Who knows, maybe I can buy a tie-dye t-shirt some yoga pants and fit right in. Hola. Sí, para Coco, ¿cuánto es? Sí. ¿Cuánto es? Diez. Diez. Aquí tengo Coco de a diez y Coco de a diez. Para beber, comer, hacer leche o hacer comida. Sí, eso quiero para, para beber. Solo para beber. Sí. Verde amarillo. Este.
Uh, sí. Sí. Bloody love coconut. Unfortunately, she didn't have a straw. I have to drink it like a slob. No, no yes, yes. I don't know. San Marcos has a maze of youth hostels, yoga retreats vegan restaurants, holistic healing centers, and new age workshops. Despite the crowds and the hustle and bustle in the labyrinth on the streets, this is a really chilled out place. This is the kind of place you can lay back and relax for a few days. <laughs> if you're a hippie, San Marcos must be heaven. Hola, para comer para una persona? Sí, muy bien. Wound up in a vegan restaurant, Sam Sara's, and this is my lunch. Seventy-five quetzales for this yummy vegan lunch, Lao Tzu, and a smoothie. And got a bit of company. Well, that was absolutely delicious and great value at seventy-five quetzales with the drink. I'm gonna head down to the seafront now. I don't, well, the seafront, lakefront. Uh, I don't really know what to do now. I'm not into yoga and meditation really. So let's see what else there is to do in San Marcos. It doesn't seem like there's much else to do apart from chill out here, so I'm going to head back to Panda Hatchel. I'll get through these two thugs. Twenty-cinco, no? Sí. Aquí tienes, gracias. So I've paid 30 this morning after negotiating it down from 100. That journey was 25 and it was further. All right, welcome back to Panajachel. This is the main point of entry on the lake and the biggest town. Um, it's not necessarily where most backpackers would stay. Um, usually I go on to San Pedro, the biggest backpacking place, or San Marcos where we've just been. We'll go to San Pedro on another video. I've chosen to stay here mainly because it's uh, a bit less touristy, a bit bigger, and it's easier to get around the lake. No, I said. Hola. Ya comí. Gracias. Sí, bueno. Okay, guys. My hotel's just over the road. I need to get some money. I need to put my uh, transport for my next leg of my journey. So I'm going to do that. And then we're going to head down to the sea. Well, dreams. Dreams here is something else. But it's too good. Uh, head down to the sea front. I mean, lake front. Gracias. And 
and then see what mischief we can get up to down there. If artisan markets your thing, then Guatemala is the place to come to. So, apart from markets and restaurants, I can't find anything else to do. Kayak place is closed, so I can do what every good Englishman does on holiday, go and get a beer. Salud. Out here boat spotting at the moment. I think Angie going past at the moment is my favourite boat so far. make a move, get out of here, go find something to eat. Literally it stopped raining, I went to the toilet, come back out and it started raining again, but only a little bit, it's all good. So today's Wednesday, and I saw an advert earlier saying every Wednesday, tacos all you can eat. That sounds like a challenge to me. No, gracias. I can't turn down a challenge. Okay, chicos, vamos a comer. Mm. So, 65 pesos for the Junior Kani tacos. Pretty good selection here. Give it a taste test. And... Alright, it's impossible to hold the camera and eat these at the same time. I'll give it a go, but uh, this is good. Very mm. good. Well, that was delicious, as most of the food here is. I ate six of those tacos, so good value for money. That's probably just over a pound each. I could have probably eaten eight, but. <laughs> I'd be struggling now if I did. Anyway, let's go and get a little nightcap. The music in the bar was too loud for me to describe what I was drinking. This is a Michelada Guatemalteca, made up of Gallo, the Guatemalan national beer, Quetzalteca, which is the Guatemalan rum, tomato juice, salt, pepper, Tabasco sauce, Worcestershire sauce and lime juice. It packs a punch and it's nicer than it sounds and it's not bad for 40 quetzales, about £4.50. Okay Chico's, that drink may not have looked it but it was really nice. That's it for tonight. Got an early start tomorrow, so an early night tonight. See you on the next video guys, thank you for watching.